Hi everybody, my name is Bruce, I'm with U-Haul, and today I'm going to be installing wiring on a Subaru Impreza. Today we're going to be installing a Quick Connect or T-Connect four flat trailer connection. Uh, you'll definitely need one of these if you're to safely tow any trailer. Uh, it's required by law. We're going to be installing it behind the left and right turn signal lights inside of the trunk. So we're going to get at it. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Okay, so I'm underneath the Impreza right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to survey the under part of the vehicle and find areas that I wanted to avoid, such as the exhaust, which gets real hot, moving components like the, the rear axle, any of the leaf springs and shocks. You want to avoid any movement areas or areas that are going to get hot. So I'm going to start right here in the middle on this cross member, and I'm going to work my way down on the passenger side. It does have this plastic uh, uh, vanity or maybe it's more like a under protective cover that runs about three quarters of the distance of the vehicle which we'll end up using a lot of that to our advantage for today's uh, wiring installation. So I'm going to go ahead and run this down there to the engine compartment and pick it up at the uh, battery terminals. And then I'm going to end up tucking it into this second part right underneath. It, lets, it does allow us to separate it so I can tuck some wiring right up underneath. So I'm at the very end of the plastic underneath protective part of the, of the vehicle to help get the wiring up into the engine compartment. I've dropped a little wire that I'll just tie my power wire to. And I've run it down the, the engine compartment where there was a safe spot that also didn't have any hot or moving components. So I'm at the last part of the plastic portion of this uh, undercarriage protective uh, plastic and I'm going to run it to, uh, I have actually dropped a wire down the passenger side of the engine compartment so that I can connect these two together to pull it up in an area that does not have any uh, moving parts or hot exhaust. Uh, so when I get to the end here I'm going to pull it up to the engine compartment and continue to zip tie it up. Uh, to the battery area. Okay, so now we're at the engine compartment right now and like I told you earlier I had a little uh, pull wire I had sent down along this uh, passenger side of the engine compartment because it didn't have any moving parts. It also didn't have any heat areas uh, to where it would be interfering with the power wire. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. I'm gonna go ahead and run this power wire on the back firewall here. Um, looks like some, we got some lines that are in an area that aren't gonna get hot and they're not moving components. And we'll run the power wire right over to the positive terminal on the battery. Okay, so I've run the power wire over, uh, over by the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the negative terminal I'm using a 10 millimeter ratchet. that out the way. Switch up to my 12 millimeter for this positive terminal. A battery terminal connector. I'll be putting that on the area that I had. first this just together. I just cut it, splice these together with my wire strippers. Go ahead and crimp this one together. Pull on to make sure it's nice and tight. Go ahead and put our connection on the positive terminal, reapply our bolt, our nut, sorry. Twelve millimeter ratchet ratchet with our six socket. Go 
nice and snug. Make sure the battery terminal is good. Switch back to our 10 millimeter. Go ahead and put the negative terminal post back on. Terminal is tight. Strip the other end with our wire strippers along with our power wire and we'll go ahead and connect these two together. Okay, we found success with that one. Tug, make sure they're good and secure. Now we've got our power wire hooked up. We'll put the fuse in at the very last um, step of the process. We'll get the, uh, the quick connect T connect in the back of the trunk as well. This will move on to the next step. So to, for our power wire to go into the rear of the vehicle, we've determined there is a drain plug underneath by the exhaust, above the exhaust. Pull this out. Use a 732nds drill bit. It's going to pop a little hole in the middle of it. Not going to leak. Tuck all my wire up in there around. This is going to come on by the spare tire, so I'm just going to shove all of my spare wire up there that we'll be using here in a moment. So once we access the trunk, I'll get this in here and I'll pull this tight. So then it'll be definitely enough distance away from the exhaust. Rubber ground is back in place. So we'll go ahead and uh, access the trunk and finish the remaining portion of the wiring. Okay, so I've got the trunk opened up and I've lifted up the carpeting off because this particular vehicle had some extra components in it. So I lifted it up. We're going to be using our trim tools and we're going to remove two fasteners. One down here and one up here. So how these work is there's a little plastic, like a mushroom top. Just pop that, you wanna get in between it and the white plastic and then it pops this part out. And then keep these together. You'll be reinstalling them later. And this one came out all together, which is good. And then this scuff plate also needs to come out. Since it, the side panel kind of goes underneath it, we'll go ahead and remove this one as well so we can do both at the same time. And they have the same, same little push rivets in it. So we'll just repeat the process under here. And these are more like a Christmas tree. And I got another one back here just a little bit. Slippery little area. We got two more on the passenger side. These are those little gray mushroom ones that you got to get in between it and the white. Go ahead and pop it off. This one came out together. This one popped out together as well. All right, so we'll take the scuff plate out. Set this aside. We'll be putting that back in shortly. I can see in here, I can see you underneath by the tire where my power wire is. I'm going to pull that out. 
We'll be connecting that here shortly as well. Inside our trunk here, we have this area here that we're gonna be going right behind the taillights on this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the this carpeting back on the driver's side so we can expose the area that we'll be working on. So on the driver's side, we'll go ahead and repeat that same process. We'll pull the, the tr this trunk's carpeting back to expose the other area that we'll be working behind the taillights. Now I'll grab our T-connector. We're gonna have a yellow and brown side that's gonna be going to the driver's side. And then we have a green and red which is gonna go over to the passenger side. These are gonna run underneath that scuff plate. So we'll go ahead and start on the driver's side. So to remove this, it's kind of a simple process. Uh, where my thumb is, you just push down and pull it out. Pretty easy process. So we're gonna connect. Just like a seatbelt, make it click. Make sure your connections are good. Okay, so we're on the passenger side. We're gonna repeat that same process with your thumb or a finger. Press down. Pulls right out. Connect your green and red T-connect. want to make sure they're a good solid fit and then we'll move on to the next step so we're going to use our power wire that we ran underneath the vehicle I'm just going to go ahead and strip the end off now I had muddled up our last butt connector so I had to go with same size just different look Don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Give it a tug, it's good to go. Locate our red wire, which is our power wire through our converter box. It's already pre-stripped. Make sure we're not wrapped around anything good. Good solid connection. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and ground it. Definitely wouldn't wanna go anywhere up here because you'll end up grounding through the outside portion of the rear quarter panel. So I'm gonna go straight up and down uh, on the floor. It's a good solid spot. And I already know that when I installed the hitch, there was nothing below here. Self-tapping screw that came in your package with your wiring. I'm gonna start by pre-drilling it. And then I'll apply my ground. Important too to make sure that it's flush. You don't want to have it upside down because otherwise it'll bend it kind of funky and it won't have a good connection. You want to have it so that it's nice and flush going down on your ground. Solid ground. Last step we'll do is we'll just clean it up and run our four flat extension out underneath the carpeting once we get this put back together. Go ahead and uh, we'll put our 20, our 10 amp fuse into the inline fuse holder. Secure the cap. Stereo and lighting are ready to go. Okay, so I've got the scuff plate put back in, carpeting, got our four flat, trailer wiring installed on the Subaru Impreza. 
uh, to go ahead and use your product, just go ahead and pull it out of the trunk. Your weather stripping or trunk seal is plenty of protection for it. Just want to make sure that we don't close the trunk down with it in a pinch point where the trunk latches. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up. No damage on the wiring. As long as you keep it flush with your weather stripping and it'll uh, have some longevity. Thank you for watching our video. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.